girls welcome back to another little podcast youtube video episode and today we're going to talk about the booty the glutes and most importantly why controversial but why you need to forget the weights when it comes to building the booty and you might be listening to this and thinking what the hell reshma You've always told us to lift weights, lift heavy weights, do the hip thrust, progressive overload, blah, blah, blah. But the honest truth is most of you that are listening to this, most of you that are having conversations with myself in the DM and the girls that I am coaching or helping are beginners or have been trying to build your glutes for years, not months and you aren't seeing any progress. Now, if you've been trying to build your glutes for at least a year and you haven't seen progress, something is wrong. And you might not be wrong, you might not be doing, you know, anything, anything bad yourself, but the formula that you're using is wrong. So the most important thing is nutrition is key. And that is what we are gonna touch upon on this little short episode. Now, what do you do when you're new to exercise? Let's say you're new, you wanna build them glutes, you wanna build the booty. Everybody runs to the gym. Everybody runs to the weight room, or even if you're working out from home to begin with, I know I did for many years, I would just run to start doing squats, I would do hip thrusts at home, lunges, glute bridges, all of those exercises at home. And I started to spend months and months and years just doing those exercises without ever really seeing progress. It took me years to see progress. And once I taught myself everything, got the formula right, I saw progress in like six to 12 months. But prior to that, I was trying to build my glutes trying to see some kind of progress for years and years and years and I didn't and the problem is nutrition and your diet and your calories and your macros are the most important thing that is number one they say you can't out train a bad diet and that is because it's true you can do all the amazing gym workouts home workouts in the world, but if you go back home and your habits at home, habits in the kitchen are poor, it's really make or break your journey. So most important things I wanna talk about today is number one, if you're new and if you're watching this and you're new, or even if you're not new, but you just haven't been seeing glute growth in a while, then listen up. I'm gonna give you three really good, good tips. Number one, Are you eating enough? Check your calories. Now, naturally you might know if you're eating enough or not. If you are having, to keep it really, really simple, if you are having three main meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe the odd snack, one or two in between, then you're probably eating a right amount of frequency. Now, if you know that you maybe skip breakfast, if you know you only really have one main meal a day and then you're kind of snacking around a little bit, that's one sign that tells you you're probably not eating enough. And that is just trial and error. Unless you start tracking your calories, you'll never know. So I would trial a day, don't change anything, but just Track how much you're typically eating in your normal, typical day. That will give you a nice idea of how many calories you're consuming. Now, you should be eating slightly more calories than your body needs. So work that out. Go on Google and maybe type in calorie calculator. A lot of them ask for your goal. You can put building muscle. That is your goal if you want to build the booty. And it will give you a rough kind of estimate. But most important thing is you need to be eating in a surplus or even in a maintenance. So figure out your maintenance first as well. That'll give you a nice benchmark. Let's say 2000 calories you're supposed to be eating just to maintain. Most people are not eating maintenance. You're not eating enough. 
So just make sure you're eating maintenance for the next month, few weeks, two months, just try and eat at maintenance level. You can always gradually increase the calories, even by an extra 50, 100 calories if you need to. So that is the most important thing. Just make sure my mic is still on. Hopefully it is. That's the most important thing. And number two, it's eating enough protein. Again, you can eat all the calories in the world, but if you are not eating enough protein, if all your calories is just coming from 80% carbs or loads of healthy fats or processed fats and a very tiny amount of protein, then you're not going to see sufficient glute muscle growth in general. So get really, really clued up on your proteins. I've got a really good high protein guide. It includes vegetarian proteins and non-vegetarian proteins and a list of them, how much protein is in 100 grams of each thing, and a little bit of hints and tips on protein around protein. If you would like a free copy of that, then just comment down below protein guide and I will send it over to you. Um, Make sure you include either your Instagram handle, that would be great, and then I can send it over to you or just DM me on Instagram and DM Reshma, I've watched your I've watched your recent video protein guide, please. And I'll send that over to you ASAP. So that's the most important thing. Protein, calories, super, super simple. And if you are overwhelmed very easily, just forget, forget the gym for the time being. Work on this. Work on this before you should ever step into the gym. If at home your calories, your nutrition is not on par, then focus on that first because that's the biggest thing that people struggle on. Doesn't mean you can't still go to the gym. I would definitely encourage you to do both, to be honest, but this advice is for people that are brand new or you're very busy, you get overwhelmed, you're just focusing all your energy on the gym or exercise and nothing in nutrition. In an ideal world, you want to be doing both. So that is the most important thing. Number three is things like sleep. Sleep and water, very, very important. If you are not getting enough sleep, you're not giving your body enough rest and recovery, especially. So again, people are great in the gym. Maybe they're great. Maybe they're getting, maybe you're getting really good at nutrition. But if you're only getting a few hours sleep a night, or you're getting very inconsistent sleep, maybe you need to watch TV, or you need a bright light, or you need to be on your phone until you literally feel really tired, the likelihood is you're probably waking up a little bit groggy. When was the last time you woke up fresh as a daisy, last time you didn't need a nap in the day, last time you didn't need multiple coffees? So get your sleep pattern sorted, and Easier said than done, but you know, limit TV, limit your phone, things like that just before bed. I go on my phone just before bed, but when I feel myself getting sleepy, I put my phone away, turn off all the lights and try and go to sleep. Even if it takes me a little bit of a while, I will just close my eyes, try and drift away. The easier you do, the the more you do that, the easier it gets. And You also, you know, you also want to make sure that you're getting sufficient sleep for you. Everybody needs slightly different. Some people function on six hours fine, and the older we get, the more we can do that. Some people need seven or eight hours. Eight hours is probably, you know, quite good, but some people find that a little bit too much. But find something that works for you. Early bedtimes, plan your routine, plan your bedtime routine, get up in the morning, especially if you are thinking about going to the gym in the morning and you feel like you don't have time, trust me, like going to sleep early changed my life. But anyway, those are the three main fundamental things. Just to recap, calories, calories, calories. Ensure you're eating enough protein and ensure you're getting enough restful sleep. That's not just good for the booty gains, the fat loss, you know, being being healthy. It's just good for your nut, just your whole body. It's it's good for your health, long-term health. You don't need all the sleep in the world, but trying to improve your sleep quality. And I'm not saying mine's perfect either, but it will benefit your, your journey a lot. Hopefully you enjoyed that short little sweet video. If you want my protein guide, 
don't forget to DM me on Instagram Protein Guide. Let me know how you found this video. And yeah, see you on my next one.